I feel like games are definitely a little bit drier these days. I mean, we're left playing the same things over and over again. Problem is, we generally see the same games on the store page and on YouTube feeds all the time. But with this new series I'm making, I plan to expose games that are really high quality and really new that just don't get the love they deserve. Say, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at Tower Unite. Tower Unite is one of those games that you just have a place in your heart for. Its, it's genre is somewhere between Gary's Mod and VR Chat, but perfectly blends the two games together into a productive and fun environment. What I like about the game is it starts off so chill and simple. You have the option to go to the plaza, the main area where most of the gameplay takes place, your condo, which is like your own decorative home where you can do insane detail and customization, and you just have overall the game servers that you're able to access, and you're able to access mini golf, not all types of games we're going to into later. The game starts off not too complicated. You know, you spawn into this world where you're open to do whatever you want. It's a sandbox and you can engage and interact with other players, whether it's text chat or voice chat, interact with their skins, their profiles, and all types of stuff. There's not really an objective in the game. I mean, you can do anything. You can just explore, you can buy furniture for your house, make your condo look amazing with the variety of stores they have around the main plaza that sell all types of different things. Whether you just want to hit up and go bowling with your friends in the bowling alley and just watch YouTube videos or whatever while you're doing it laughing there's a crazy arcade where you can hit up beat scores take all types of records there's a prize pool all types of shit that you can do in there the, the arcade is honestly underrated crazy place you can spend a ton of time in there there's all types of like hella realistic arcade games that actually give you tickets you can submit those and get all types of prizes and you buy tokens with actual currency probably my favorite part of the game trivia some really good questions and they're all about pop culture and stuff you can hit up there the questions are so good you can just keep coming in there it never gets old probably the most unique part of the game is actually probably just the skin system you can hop into the workshop without leaving the game type in whatever skin you want from any show real life anything that you want my friend made one here he actually made all the avatar characters and he made zuko here and i can choose this character it goes on instantly and everyone can see it in the game it's simple as that but even takes it a step further by allowing you to add accessories like sunglasses, hats, backpacks, anything to make your character look cooler from the outside. What I want to get across to you guys is that this game is incredibly open and just free. I mean, you, whether you want to go to the theater and basically play Gmod Cinema, typing derby, typing challenges with your friends, Ferris wheels, I don't care. There's so much shit that you can do in and out of the actual game. It, it's, it's amazing. There's actually a large scale casino that you can access and do all types of shit there and gamble all your money away. And money is made from literally doing anything anything achievements anything really makes you money in this game and that's what's so great about it it takes no effort no time you can afford everything really quickly but if you're a true hearted player there are items that you can grind for that cost a lot more and those are secret shops also scattered around the island that you can find for yourself the condo is another major feature of the game where it's your own little crib where you can invite people over you can customize it to however you want i mean whatever in the most detail the tvs and all types of stuff that you get from in the actual game you can bring here and place it all down Even even here you can play youtube videos just like gmod cinema right on screen and it works perfectly sound too you can hook speakers up to it and whatever and the customization goes so deep i couldn't even explain it in one video i mean you can change anything from the floorboards to the walls to the ceiling to the color of it all to the material anything that you want you can put it in and you can import textures from online and put them on your walls you can have posters here i got an avatar poster just to show you you grab a jpeg link you can just drop it into the game and your all your friends can see it as long as they trust it and it just it, it i mean it's it's so easy you can customize the outside of your house your pool your basketball hoops all types of sports you can put in it's really 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 creative but probably my favorite part of the game are actually just the mini games within the game like little games inside games accelerate an alpha version basically mario kart is one of those games that are really fun to play it's basically just mario kart except you know with its own little twist on it but it's really polished and it actually feels like it could be its own game they also have a game that i think is a little underappreciated it's a game where basically it's like tag like dragons are chasing like crusaders and it's it's pretty Pretty fun it's just basically tag but with a little twist on it because it's a dragon and shit and the maps are pretty fun so that's one game that you can also play in when, in when coins on mini golf is also a favorite it's basically golf with my friends like i said games inside games and you know it's really simple really fun really funny because you're playing with like random people sometimes people just fucking around and shit i mean you're just trying to get coins and it's a really relaxing way to do it 
But I want you to take away from this review is just how open and yet how depthful the game is. Like, that's not a word, depthful. Th the game has so much depth in like just how it's created. In each of these stores and mini games, you know, there's so much you can unlock, so many achievements, so many coins you can get, and you can use that to spend money on furniture, spend money on items, all types of stuff that you can use and just play around with and mess around. The game has no goal except to be goalless. It's just really a social hub, but like with its own Roblox, Gary's Mod twist on it. Not to mention all the people you laugh with and all the people you interact with and all the mini game events there's just so much content in the game that you can uncover for yourself i've only had the game for a week now and i mean I, I i'm uncovering new stuff every day still this game was so good to me that it inspired me to make this series to find games like this that are this good and show them off to people on youtube but anyway guys that's just a taste of a game i don't want to spoil it all for you but i did hope you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content and as always guys i'll see you in the next one peace